Hi everyone, uh, my name is Shannon Cardoza. I'm a senior nursing major from Westport, Connecticut, and this is my day in the life. So you guys get to follow me around for two days of my week, my very, very hectic week, but I'm excited to show you everything I do. Let's get started. It's almost 9 a.m. I have class at 9.30 and that's my skills lab on the North Haven campus. Let's go! So we're here in my lab class and today our big focus is on mock codes and CPR and heart rates. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go through the code cart right here that we have. It's a practice code cart and we're going to try to find all the meds that we need or like um, oxygen masks that we need. So let's get started. Okay. Go Shannon! Woo! Alright, good job, good job. 10 milliliter syringe. Go. 10 milliliter syringe. Alright, now we're going to take Right now we're practicing bagging a patient, which is when we work on providing adequate airway and breath to our patient during CPR. So as you can see, she has a really nice seal so we can get proper breath and ventilation into our patient. And we're supposed to get chest rise as we do this. So I'm here in the sim lab and we're about to practice doing a mock code. Um, we all have our roles. I'll be doing medication. We have a team leader. This is our med cart right here. Um, and I'm very excited. Let's get started. We have compressions going. We turn on the defibrillator. So it's about 11.30. I just got out of lab. I'm going to go to lunch for about 30 minutes before my next class at 12 o'clock. Let's go. Uh, what's going on everyone? Um, I'm currently in my community class right now. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon. We have a 10 minute break. Just do what we have to do and then this class is gonna go until about 2.45. <laughs> So my next class is not until 4.30. For the next hour and a half or so, I'm just gonna try and get some homework done, you know, relax, and get something to eat also. All right, I'm off to my last class of the day. Finally home from my long day of classes. I get to sit in my bed just for a few moments before I have to go do some more work. It's been a good day to say the least. My last class of the day, which is capstone, that class is very, very different compared to all the nursing classes I take, but I think it does a really, really good job of just kind of bringing everything together um, at the end, and it was fun. Good day. <laughs> so, I'm currently helping my roommate Say hi, Mia. Hi. <laughs> She's the vice president of the physical therapy club here at Quinnipiac, and they have this weekend coming the special athletics. So basically, it's just a full day of events. Um, it's Our really cool. Space. Very very cool Out shirts. Of this world. <laughs> it's gonna be really really fun, and I'm super excited. I just finished up doing some practice quizzes that I had to do, but I think I'm gonna call it quits for tonight. I'm gonna head to bed, y'all. Hi everyone, good morning. I have work um, at 11, so I'm currently eating a little breakfast. Made a nice little pancake this morning. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna head out to work and then um, I have clinical later tonight. Super excited, let's get the day started, woo! <laughs> So it's about 11 a.m. in the morning. I just got to work at the tech center. I'm here with my man, Zach. 
This is one of my bosses. Hi, Zach. Hi. <laughs> and then Kenny. Hi. <laughs> they, um, they're both my supervisors here at the tech center. Um, I'm here for my shift from about 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. today. So I'm currently in my on-campus clinical class um, for my rotation for community. Right now, we're just getting ready to go assess a patient. Um, we've gotten our, you know, like patient information sheets. So we're just reading that over before we go down um, and go visit our patient and assess them in their home and assess their needs. This is the room setup that they have where we're gonna assess him and his living space. So we're gonna come in and assess his living and the patient as a whole as well. Grab a seat, grab a seat, grab a seat. losing too much blood here. Here, have a seat, okay? Take a seat. Is someone gonna come? Yes, we called 911. Someone should be coming. My arm is bleeding. So they can see you somewhere. I need a bandage or something. He's gonna try and help and stop the bleeding. I'm really worried. I think he might need to go to the hospital. I know you're worried. It's literally pretty severe here. I'm just gonna apply this tourniquet for you here, and this is gonna stop the bleed. Yeah. It's gonna hurt a little bit here, but we're gonna just tighten this up for you. I'm losing so much blood here. Please tighten that up. He needs to go to the hospital. He needs blood. He's gonna lose too much blood. Look how much blood I'm I'm losing here. And it looks like we managed to stop the bleeding right oh, good. there for you with that pressure. I know it's uncomfortable, but we're going to get you to the hospital and we're going to get you bandaged up. Oh. Hi, everyone. Um, so I'm finally home. Thank you guys for, you know, following me the, the past two days and tuning in. Thank you guys so much. Bye.